Now that you know how to do a roller set, let's talk about how you maintain that roller set. For me, I like to wear my hair down most of the time when I have it in a roller set like this, and I sleep with it in a couple different ways. So in this video, I'm gonna share how I maintain my roller set, whether I'm just wearing a silk scarf at night or pin curling. And in this video, I'm not gonna be showing how to pin curl, but let me know if you want me to do a tutorial on how to pin curl. I feel like everybody knows how to pin curl, but if you don't know how to pin curl, let me know. But anyway, let's jump right in. I'm just brushing my hair back so that I can do the easiest version of maintaining this roller set at night, which is to simply wear a headscarf on top, just like this, and it's that simple. You can also wrap your hair in a classic doobie wrap sort of style. I also do that. Sometimes I lose a little bit of curl though but at the same time sometimes I like that look a little bit more of a straightened look versus it being super curly and as you wear your roller set throughout the week or cup or few weeks your curls are gonna fall a bit but you're still gonna have that sleek style if you maintain it right now here's a tip that a lot of people don't talk about okay you need to keep your room cold if you sweat at night you are going to sweat your roller set out just like you sweat out any other heat style. So I keep my room really cold at night so that I don't ruin my roller set in the morning. <laughs> As you can see, the roller set's looking a little packed right now, but we're just gonna shake her out and reveal a beautiful roller set. Now look, I never said that the brush back option was the best option. I said it was the easiest option. So I did lose a little bit of curl on the top and sometimes I don't lose the curl and sometimes I do. It's just a matter of like what my hair decides to do that day. So for me, I go for easy over perfection most days. Now I'm still getting a lot of volume, really cute wave sort of pattern. So even though the curl didn't really hold up since the way it was the day before, I don't mind this look. It's still cute. She's still giving and if I want to revive my hair, I totally can by just simply pin curling it this same night and then I'll have curls again the next day. That's the nice thing about roller sets is that you really don't need to apply any more products to your hair unless you need to add maybe a little bit of oil here and there to reshape your hair because it's still going to be pretty moldable those first couple days because of the foam when you originally set your hair. Now let's talk about the second option that you have when preserving your roller set overnight, which is personally my preferred way of setting my hair overnight. And that is to pin curl it. Now pin curling is really not hard at all. And you can totally pin curl your hair dry without doing anything to it each night to maintain your roller set. That works really well for me, especially the first week, because like I said, there's plenty of products still on and it's still doing what I want it to do without any effort really. But when you start getting into week number two or three, or say for example, you got into an area where there was some humidity and this does depend on what products you use when you originally set your hair. If you remember in my last video, I talked about how you can use a setting foam that has silicones in it or a setting foam that doesn't have silicone in it. I used a setting foam that doesn't have silicone in it, which was the Design Essentials Compositions foam this time, but that's the thing. It doesn't have silicone, which means that my hair isn't going to have as much protection against humidity because all silicone is, is a barrier. So we don't like silicones in our curly hair or natural hair because it can block some of those moisturizing and hydrating ingredients in our products that we're actually trying to get into our hair. So if you have product buildup, AKA silicone buildup, then you could be missing out on those good ingredients that you think you're putting in your hair, but your hair isn't actually being able to receive because of a silicone block, right? But when our hair is straightened or used in a heat style or in a sleek style, we wanna use silicones because that barrier will actually keep the exact same thing out, moisture and hydration, AKA humidity. So if you're in a more humid place, I highly recommend using a setting foam that has silicones in it or oils that have silicones in it. 
And if you're in not so much of a humid area, you can totally get away with keeping your roller set frizz free without using silicones. It's just really up to wherever you live and also your hair type. Oh, and I also wanna add this. So if you do see that your hair is getting frizzy, all you have to do is get that brush, that blow dry brush that I showed y'all in my last video, and just do a couple passes on the sections that are a bit frizzy and then roll them back up. So either you can put your rollers back in for a little bit or you can pin curl and go to bed, whatever best works for you in the moment. But if you do that, you can totally achieve a sleek look again. It's just one of those things where you don't wanna to add too much heat, obviously. You don't wanna go back in with the flat iron or anything if you don't have to, because the blow dry brush should be enough. So in this next clip, I'm actually going to put in a week update after I had my roller set in and chat with y'all about how it's looking so far. Yeah, I feel like for a week though, she's looking pretty good today. Hey y'all, so we are a week into the roller set. Here is what we're looking like, okay? It's about noonish today, so I've already had my hair out for the morning. I pin curled it last night. As you can see, we've got a little bit of frizziness on the top, but other than that, she is still holding strong. So, for today, I'm just adding some dry oil mist to my hands, really because it smells good, but just a little bit on my hands and raking it through the top. As you can see, it kind of tamed some of those flyaways. And I like to kind of wrap my hands back to kind of give it a curl. I haven't added any more heat to my hair since. You can see the back. And tonight I will definitely pin curl her again. Maybe add just a little bit of heat, like with a blow dryer to the top pieces first and then pin curl them to kind of like revive these pieces. Cause this, this piece in the front always just wants to do what it wants to do and not what I want it to do. So I'll probably fix that, <laughs> fix that piece. But other than that, we're, we're still holding strong. We're still, we're still doing good. And that's all I've got for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. See you next time.